to measure thumb CMC joint radial abduction. The patient is seated at the table, the hand is flat on the table, uh, and the goniometer is placed on its side on the back of the hand and thumb. The stationary arm of the goniometer is placed over the index finger metacarpal, so you'll have to palpate that, and the moving arm is placed over the uh, thumb metacarpal, so palpate that. And once you've got those two placed, the axis kind of places itself where the intersection of the index and thumb metacarpals uh, rays would be. So that's your starting position, uh, which you'll notice is certainly not zero, uh, but that's what we do for a starting position. And then can I have you bring your thumb all the way out to the side, far as it'll go? For ending position, for thumb CMC joint radial abduction, again, palpate the index and thumb metacarpal joints, and simply place the stationary arm over the th index metacarpal, the moving arm over the thumb metacarpal. The axis then more or less places itself when the thumb is fully radially abducted. It's pretty much right at the scapho-trapezial joint, and in this case we have about um, 55 degrees of thumb CMC joint radial abduction.